Hi everyone, welcome back to Computing Millions. So this is the final part of the Python stock screener. Um, and in this video we're going to be just looking over the code, explaining how everything works, and you're going to be able to download it. But I suggest you stay and watch the full video because you want to actually learn something, not just get something for free. Because if you just get it for free, you're not going to learn anything and there's no value here. So, um, the script has two loops in it, and we're going to use this nice drawing of a loop to represent a for loop. And in this for loop, um, what happens is, is that for each stock in this for loop, it'll have a bunch of tickers, and I'll show how to get the tickers um, in another part of the video, but we'll get the get site. So it downloads the site information, the HTML code, much like the last video, and then it will grab the data out of it. So it'll grab or get data, and it'll use the pattern recognition that we talked about before to take out certain values. And then after that, it will create a stock object so it just creates a stock object uh, it puts all the information into a stock class and then we take that info and we save to a list so now we have a bunch of uh, stocks that are all saved into classes and we have them in a list so we're going to take this information and we're going to bring it up into our second for loop so in this for loop, um, what happens is it takes the information and it looks at uh, key uh, stats. So let's say you want a dividend yield over 4, 4%, or you want a price for earnings that's over 2 or something like that. Um, you can put in an if statement, and if it meets your criteria, then it'll go on to the next step, which is printing it. So it'll print it out to the screen, and it'll also open in browser. That's about it. It's pretty simple. It's nice and elegant. And we'll move on to the code now. Okay. So here we are in the script. Um, so at the top here, we're importing URL. So we, that's used to download things uh, from the last video. And we're also doing a web browser. Uh, this allows us to just open up links in Python and it'll open up in a browser. Um, so here I have a huge list. Uh, I think it's like 1,505 um, symbols and these are all on the Tor Toronto Stock Exchange. So if, if you want to get a list of symbols, um, go to eoddata.com and there's a symbols list, and you can pick whatever uh, stock exchange stock exchange you want. So if you want the New York, uh, you can just come here and download the symbol list. Now the problem with this is um, there is the first value, and then there is uh, the company's name, and we only want the symbol, right? So I created a script which I'll open up right here. Uh, it's just a small one. So it opens up the file. So you put the file name in here. Um, it creates a template, and then it reads the lines. And it goes through each line, splitting up the data, because they're separated by uh, t's, or for, uh, slash t. Um, and then it goes through the uh, objects in templist, and it creates a... Um, it creates the symbol. Um, so we have here the TSE colon and then we add on the symbol. So what that does is it takes like for example AAB and it puts TSE colon in front of it so that way when we open it up in Google Finance if you actually look um, if you want to get something on the Toronto Stock Exchange you put TSE colon and then the symbol ticker. So yeah um, so then once you run that, you'll get a list, 
and then you just copy and paste that list into the ticker spot and that's about it so uh, here we have a list uh, we have list of stocks and this is just a variable uh, nothing special about that um, and this is the for loop this is the downloading one so what happens is first it gets the data so it will do the download data function so if we go up and we take a look at that so download data what it does is it takes a URL argument and then it opens up that URL it reads the uh, lines and then it returns all the text um, next thing we define a pattern so our pattern is our TD class is equal to value which we've been using uh, which we used in this, uh, the video before this one. Um, next thing is you want to get the values. Um, so we have a function for that too, which is find pattern in data. Uh, it takes two arguments. It takes the pattern and it takes the data. Um, so what happens in the find pattern in data is it does what we did in the previous video and it just tries to find the pattern and it will return the list of values once everything is done with. Um, and now that you have the values, the last function is creating the actual stock uh, class. So what it does is it has this create stock class. It takes in the ticker symbol and the values that we just got. So uh, after that, the create stock class will, for example, it will try to get the price from the values and if it doesn't, then it'll accept and it will put the prices non-existent or not available. Um, if you're looking, if you want to look into this more, just look at the previous video. I talk about how to get different values out of different lists. Um, and then once all of these uh, have been defined, so price, dividend yield, dividend per share, earnings per share, price to earnings ratio, and market cap, um, there's a temp which is equal to a stock class. And we just put all the information in there, and then we return it, and we append it to the list. Um, so let's go over the stock class really quickly. Um, so in it, we just have uh, initialization. So we have the symbol, the price, we have all that stuff. Um, and we just set it into variables. But here, uh, for payout ratio, since we can't get that off the Google Finance uh, website directly, I had to do the calculations myself. Um, so what I did is I took the dividend yield, I divided it by 100, so it's in an actual percent. Uh, I multiply that by the price, that way I have the total dividend, and I divide that by the earnings per share. Um, the reason why I multiplied it by 1,000, or not 1,000, by 10,000 and then rounded was because I wanted to get it to two decimal places, so I would multiply it up. I would round it and then I divide it back down so that way I have a um, I have it rounded to two decimal places instead of having an arbitrary number that's in decimals uh, and if that doesn't work then we just have non, uh, not available um, there is also a function in the stock uh, class so if you were to do uh, at stock dot display it will print out the symbol, the price, the dividend yield, the dividends uh, per share, earnings per share, payout ratio, PE, um, market cap, and it'll actually print out the website. So it'll just take this uh, first part and it'll add on the symbol or the ticker. So that way you can just quickly copy and paste it and put it into your browser. Um, so that's done. So now we have all the stocks in our list of stocks. So the next thing that I do is I have a valuable stocks. So these are value, uh, the valuable stocks that are coming out that I actually might want to look at. So it goes for it goes into the list of stocks and S represents uh, each one of the stocks. Uh, and you can just have an if statement. So I do if S dot dividend yield is greater than or equal to four. Uh, I look at the earnings per share, the price to earnings ratio, the payout ratio, and the market cap. And if it fits all of my criteria, then I simply just uh, add the current symbol into the valuable stocks, and I also display it, and then I open it up in my web browser. So to do that, I just do web browser.open, 
I put the original or the start of the URL plus the current symbol so that way it opens up the symbol uh, in Google Finance and then at the end here um, I just do the number of results so let's say I have 24 results 20 results just so then I have a rough number I can see that and I also print a list of all the tickers so that's what the valuable stocks are so that way later on let's say you wanted to just look at the select stocks that you've been looking at um, instead of downloading all the stocks all over again you can just simply copy and paste the list that it gives you and put it back into the tickers and you can run it again and it'll go through that select amount of let's say 20, 24, or 25 uh, stocks and print out whatever it needs to print out. So that's it everyone. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want the script I'll have a link to it in the description. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.